Look what we got guys, Star of India Super Limited 20 t-shirts. For those long time supporters of the channel, you're going to recognize these guys. They have been our sponsors of the Thames Thank you to the Star of India. And now we've got 20, only 20, Super Limited Star of India t-shirts. So head down below because we don't stop and start the music. If you want to support our channel, get one of these super rare, limited, very high quality t-shirts. Thank you. Will John Boy and Olivia be able to forgive Grandpa Zeb for selling their horse to Kurt Willard tonight at 6pm on the Waltons? Find out later. But first, here's the Thames men. It never gets old, does it? To us. <laughs> Everyone else is like, oh, oh, oh. what you don't see, my dear viewer, is if we start counting down three, uh, we are in hysterics. <laughs> By the time we got to one, and we've done this enough times, haven't we? That is, I, it never gets old. Never gets old. So, we anyway, do. we do. I'm, uh, yeah, well, I'm old. I'm George. I'm old, and I'm in Los Angeles. My name's Alex. I'm slightly younger and a little bit uh, grumpy. <laughs> but I live in San Francisco, and I'm also catching you up. It's amazing our age. Every time I'm catching you up, you just manage to run off ahead. Yeah, the problem is if you do catch me up, I'm in trouble. So that's the problem. Yeah, don't. Ooh, don't be... yeah, very well said there, mate. <laughs> and then, and then, ladies and gentlemen, then we can one day you'll just see a new Thamesman. I wonder <laughs> if they, yeah, an upgraded one, <laughs> a younger model. Yeah, 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 yeah. We could sell this off. To, and, to who? And, to, for I, what? Um, well, not for much, probably a bag of magic beans. But we could <laughs> sell it off to a couple. Of, can you imagine if you're tuning in, there's a couple of young bucks? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they could inherit the subscribers. Oh, by the way, like and subscribe. Yeah. And they could inherit our sponsor. Oh, my God. Absolutely. Let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, we're very proud to have these guys on board as a sponsor. Here we go. Yeah. Don't talk back. The taste of India. Experience the taste of India. The Regency Tandoori Restaurant. Private functions catered for. Takeaway service available. Thank you very much for the taste of India. You know, if you're ever in Thanet, you know where to go. Absolute winner. Now, talking about food, oh. is there anyone here on our channel who works at Trader Joe's or has a connection to Trader Joe's who could get spot us sponsored by Trader Joe's? Because I think we should do a product of the week, Trader Joe's product of the week. And... I've got my latest addiction. Do you all know what it is? Have you had these? They are Trader Joe's Nuts About Rosemary Mix. Have you ever had them? <laughs> no, no, but I didn't know we were going to go to product of the week and food. But you know, I actually have had them. They're, they're, they like, are, they're like nut um, crack. Crack yeah. nut. Nut crack. 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 You can't crack off your nuts, mate. <laughs> oh dear, of course, be... you had to bring it to the schoolboy humour. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to get us promotion here. I'm trying oh, to get oh, a sponsorship okay. from Trader Joe's Nuts About Rosemary. <laughs> Trader Joe's crack off on my nuts. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have had them, and they are delicious. And I tell you what, Trader Joe's, for ladies and gentlemen, is a supermarket here on the west coast, and they kind of, uh, you know, they they a little bit, a little bit woo, a little bit why, a little bit down to earth, aren't they? Very good value, amazing value. They they're the home of Two Buck Chuck, the uh, the red wine that costs uh, two bucks or used to cost two bucks. A, a bottle of wine for two dollars, and it's not that bad wine, which means you can actually vomit over yourself for about eight dollars. <laughs> and the thing is, though, <laughs> it was like when you were like younger, turning up to a party with two buck chuck was kind of acceptable behavior. Nowadays, if someone turns up at your party, they bring you two buck chuck, they're like, 
who brought the two buck chuck? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, but, but very but socially do, unacceptable. But, but, but what people do is they relabel them. Oh, they they get the two buck chuck and they just put a new label over. Oh. But the label's probably more expensive than the wine, and it's called two buck chuck because it's two bottles a bottle, and it's called Charles Schwab or something like that. Charles so Schwab, we... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> anyway, so you're trying to get a sponsorship for nuts, are you? But I'm from Trader Joe's because the thing about Trader Joe's again, if you're here from Trader Joe's, please, it is that they have amazing things and then they suddenly vanish, and like so these ones. Nuts about rosemary. They are only at this time of year because it's coming to Christmas and Thanksgiving, and then they'll go. So if you like them, you have to buy like 10 pots of them and last you through the year so that you've got someone to come back out. But I'm still kind of pretty impressed. You can actually, actually, two bottles of wine, I'll be sick. So that'd probably be sick on yourself for $4. It's brilliant. It's great value. Couldn't be better than that, really, could it? I'm sorry. I sorry, derailed the conversation. Why are we here? Well, we are here why are we here? We are here because everyone said classical gas, classical gas, classical gas. Got no idea what classical gas is, but it's Tommy Emmanuel. I've got I've got some notes if you're interested. So Tommy, let's stop on Tommy Emmanuel. Okay. If you just said meet my friend Tommy Emmanuel, I would think of like a an Italian stallion porn star. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I would I mean like when you name your child. You would take you would take one look under the blanket. Oh my God, Tommy Emmanuel. Tom, yeah. Tommy, he's a Tommy Emmanuel. He, he yeah, got yeah. a Tommy Emmanuel down yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. Do you think that's his real name? Or was that his stage name? Well, it's a pretty shit stage name. I think it's his real name because normally, if you've got a stage name, you got something like Glitter, or you got something like you know. If my stage, or you, my you stage name would be it. Alex Galaxy, right? Musician uh, to the stars. Mm-hmm. You're not going to call yourself Tommy Emmanuel, are you? That's going to be his real name. Right, right, knock on Tommy, isn't that the right on Tommy? <laughs> Tommy, what would be your stage name? Oh, no, 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 you would be just George, that's what it is. George, you would have been the Codfather, the Codfather. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, was a fish and chip mobile ch- fish and chip van that yeah. used to come around that was up the coat, and on Thursday night, the Codfather would arrive. That's a brilliant name for a fish and chip van, Codfather. I know. That's I know. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, there was also there was a I had a friend Rob who's uh, who's from Liverpool, who's Scouse, and his brother-in-law he set up a coffee shop and he also and he also set up a bookshop. It's absolutely true. Do you know what he called it? Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Starbucks. Oh dear! Very clever. Ah. We are here for Tommy Emmanuel because. Um, we've done two of his tracks. One, yep. we didn't realise who Tommy Manuel was, and we were uh, licks, um, you know, waxing lyrical about Billy Strings, who is yep. an amazing player. Then we got schooled by everyone that he is basically the world's best guitarist. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Totally miss that. Then we watched uh, him basically... Initiation, which was amazing. Then but we watched him Everyone do- said... <laughs> I was going to say, then we watched him do basically the whole of Australia without playing a string on his guitar. It really was remarkable, wasn't it? It was astounding. You know, like, it, like every element of his guitar was used to create a soundscape. It was astounding. So. He even had a beer can opening in the back. And then, <laughs> you know, and someone swearing it at the whole of the sounds of Australia, you know? It was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. But, and everyone said, so we did this track. We recently did it, but... Everyone said, I mean, basically everyone in droves just said classical gas. Yeah. And they said they need to check out the one where he's in a studio. So I think we found the right link. And and I got some notes, which I was going to quickly read, if that's okay. Yeah, please do. Uh, Classical Gas is a song originally composed by Mason Williams. Over the years, it's become a staple in Tommy Emmanuel's live performance. The other songs featured in the in this video are walked out. Okay, so yeah. Um, as well as yes, anyway, forget the rest of it. But anyway, that's the notes. <laughs> <laughs> I read. I should have. I should have checked what the rest of them said. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So <laughs> really, okay. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I, I mean, classical gas for me. Just you know, I'm just basically just. That's really you on a Sunday morning, isn't it? Flatulent bait. <laughs> you know, don't bring it down to that level. We're about to see an amazing piece of musicianship. Apparently, let's not lower the tone. Oh, talking about amazing pieces of performance. Talking about lowering the tone as well. Talk about lowering the tone as well. You go. Tomorrow, tomorrow, the next video tomorrow. We mentioned quite some time ago, and uh, we I don't know if you were here, we were talking about P. 
pickling things. So anyway, George and I did a, we pickled the most disgusting things. Tomorrow's video is not music. Tomorrow's video is the old international pickle off and you will see us open each other's uh, pickle jars and have to take a bite of what the other person has pickled and it is hilarious, mate. <laughs> and by the fact that we're still here, you you realise that we might, yeah, it's like spoiler alert, we survived, but barely. With classical gas. And also, uh, we've got uh, Kate Bush, two, mm -hmm. week coming up. And what's the other week coming Chisel up? Chisel week. Chisel. Chisel. Then we've got the 12 Days of Christmas, which are the 12 biggest bands we've done on the Reaction Channel over the year. Years. Um, over the years. years, years uh, yeah. Counting down to the biggest band on Christmas Eve, mate. Yeah. So I'll be ready for that. So anyway, let's go with classical gas. Yeah. Can't wait. Tommy Farting, Emmanuel. Farting Mozart. <laughs> You're ready, sir. I'm just about to. I'm in there now. All right. Count me in whenever you want. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. <laughs>
That is insane. Oh my god. <laughs> I was playing the guitar before we started here tonight and I was having ah. trouble I was having trouble with the F chord. <laughs> oh my god. That I oh that was just fantastic. I love that. He is like I, I tell you, okay, so initiation, the one we saw before, which which was a very technical art piece where he's painting a picture. This is much more sort of like traditional in some regards. Fantastic, Access, much more accessible. You know that. Uh, you know. You know. You recognise that. That. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah, have yeah, you heard yeah. the kind of the rock version of it? The, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. And, yeah. Yeah. and then, then I heard Elton John come in there. Yeah, it's just brilliant. It's like it's like there's two guitarists in one. Yeah, I know. Absolutely. Like, how does he do that? It's like the whole band is in there. And just yeah. when you think, uh, you know, he's going up full whack and then they just do some amazing little run, bend the neck, scratch his ear, slap about a bit, whoop, 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 what's your one go, tickle underneath and come back in. <laughs> How's your father? How's your father? Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> and then he comes back in for a little run. You know yeah. what I mean? You wouldn't want him to go near your woman, would you? No, he'd be like, you know, she wouldn't know why he'd be right. Oh my God, Jesus. <laughs> He's like a bloody. I tell you, he's uh, someone. I saw, I saw someone said he's got no friends. Why is that? Because he's in there all day just playing. It's got well, to no, be that good to be practicing. Yeah, he's got no He's he, either that or his mother was an octopus. You know, <laughs> and he's just. I mean, he's just like there's too much. But he's got no mates. He was in all day just learning how to play. There I, is, there is, there is something right. You know, you know this whole. Uh, you do ten thousand hours, you get good at something. Yeah, and then, and then there's that. Yeah, that's a hundred thousand hours. Sorry, that you know. And I don't know if that is just because he's a savant, a musical savant, or he must be. He must be. You, you know, even if you put in a hundred thousand hours, you're still not going to do that unless you're absolutely a, a, like a savant. You're like crazy genius. Or it, you know, there is a thing called dedicated training. Right, it's that well, what most people do is they pick up the guitar to play something, and this is what ninety nine point nine 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 percent of everyone does, and they think they're practicing and they play and they play and they play. No, that's not that's not learning anything. People of his level, what they're doing, they're always trying to do something they don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like, you know, yeah. And, he, and, he, and he, I think he's found everything. <laughs> now, but I tell you what, I would love to hear. Okay, so uh, yeah, helpful subscribers out there, we've seen like two three tracks with him with billy strings included where he is filling the space with amazing technical playing and and runs and bending necks and hitting the body and i would love to see him doing something where less is more like a a a, a slow piece with space and well, and and just like uh, atmosphere and see how he did that i'd love to see that well he did it just then <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> that was his slow. That was his slow pace, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was a romantic slow thing here with loads of room, you know. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like like a, like a Leonard Cohen esque, a Cat Steven esque acoustic guitar. I like to see what his skills in that sort of stripped down playing, as opposed to everything playing. So sort of you know what I want to do? I want to go back and watch the original Thamesman when he played with Billy Strings again, because I was concentrating on Billy Strings. That's true as well. And that not really Tommy, uh, not on Tommy Emmanuel. I'd Tommy like to Emmanuel. go, I'd, come on in Tommy. I would, I would like to go back and watch uh, Tommy Emmanuel and Billy Strings play again, because now I've got a much better appreciation of how unbelievably he is. And he's just not some guy playing with, uh, Billy, with Strings, Billy Strings. Yeah, exactly. Total ignorance obviously on my side but this is you know god that was amazing i could see why everyone is saying classical gas yeah it's brilliant yeah yeah no no i'm not just brilliant bonkers <laughs> that was a sausage, what sort of sausage would it be <sighs> what sort of sausage would that be i i i i think that that's that's for me as a cumberland always because cumberland is the ultimate and that's a cumberland in in its in its i'm, gonna, th I'm gonna throw a wild one in there oh yeah what's that all right, because his name is slightly Italianish. Okay, all right, yeah. right. pepperoni. Because Pe is that a sausage? It is. It is. It is. It's a dried sausage, but it's a sausage. But it's complex. A pepperoni is complex taste. You see, and you it's got slices of it. Small slices of it. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Really, kind of, you know, it's just Moorish, mm -hmm. um, but really a complex. And I think if uh, Tommy Emmanuel's a sausage, he's a complex pepperoni. Okay, I'll go with complex pepperoni then. There you complex go, ladies. Pepperoni. 
<laughs> right. As my friend said, what's next on the old Emmanuel? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Well, who knows? Let's see what we're going to do. But remember, uh, stick around tomorrow, our inaugural podcast, if we call it that, I think, because we have no music, but much silliness. And then we've got Chisel Weeks, Kate Bush, two weeks, and 12 days of Christmas. Yeah. Absolutely. We've got so much coming up. So please like and subscribe because most of the people that are watching this are not subscribed. And if, if we just had like a couple more a thousand, we will be flying. So that'd be great. Well, you know, keep on coming. We'll be there. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you for the suggestions. That was a great suggestion. That was absolutely awesome. Yeah. Take care. See you on the flip side. See you for the, uh, see you for the pickle off tomorrow. Pickle off if we survive. Oh, Ciao. I think we've worked that well. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs>